Balloons and fish are rarely used in the same sentence. One soars in the sky while the other dives deep. But one inventor has toyed around to change all that. And his fish draw a stare as they swim through the air. Here's Allie Ward to explain. When Blake English decided to float his idea past a few people, he received a mixed reaction. Surprise, terror, and glee. His idea is called air swimmers. A trained pilot, Blake dreamed up the idea of air swimmers when, as a student at Stanford, he visited an aquarium and was inspired by the way the fish appeared to fly through water. So he reached out to friend and toy maker Mark Forty to see if together they could make a fish that would transform living rooms into aquariums. I went to Upland, California to meet Blake and to learn to fly fish. Hi, I'm Allie. Welcome, it's nice to meet you. Yes, this is so exciting. I'm sure it's gonna go swimmingly. <laughs> <sighs> The battery-operated air swimmers are controlled remotely using infrared technology, much like your television remote. The body of the fish is a mylar balloon, which holds helium and provides buoyancy, lifting all of the components, which are largely made of lightweight plastic. Designing a balloon that stays upright and stable was harder than you might think. Throughout the design, weight was our, our biggest concern. This was a pre-production prototype that was much too heavy, so you can see I just drilled a lot of holes. Oh, got it. So you had to hand drill these to lessen the mass. Correct. And controlling the altitude of the fish was a challenge they solved by creating a weight shift mechanism. This is the weight shift mechanism. Okay. Uh, the battery goes in here along with ballast, and this runs forward and backwards along the track just like this. And now this is kind of adhered to the underside Correct. of the fish. This would go upside down like okay. that. And it's shaped like a remora, a fish that commonly hangs out with sharks. So you kept it natural. Absolutely. <laughs> That's amazing. And naturally, when you think of propulsion and direction, there is one very important part, the tail. These are some of the first prototypes. Mm -hmm. So you can see we have our, our little motor mechanism here, which wiggles the tail back and forth. And now this looks like it's made out of like poster board and balsa wood. That's absolutely correct. The tail on the air swimmer makes it go forward, but it also controls it. It's kind of like paddling a canoe. To go straight, you go right and then left. But to turn, you go right, right, right. And that turns you to the left. The air swimmers work the same way. Okay, so what's the first thing I need to know? Put your mind in the shark. Be the shark. <laughs> Okay, if I and am the shark. Move the tail back and forth. Okay. Mm. Hi, look at that. I'm flying. I decided I might like to name this shark. What would you like to name it? I think Greg. Greg the shark. Hi, Greg. Ow. Yeah, you really do have to be the shark. You have to think like, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. How do kids respond to these? I love flying the air swimmers around children. Sometimes I'll hold the remote behind my back <laughs> and pretend like the fish has a brain of its own. <laughs> they interact with the fish, they name it, it's their friend, and I love seeing the awe and wonder and fear sometimes, the genuine emotion that they produce. Has anyone gotten over a fear of sharks? I'd say we probably have produced more phobias than ones we've cured. 